So in this video, let's talk about how to use Otis to graph a um, to graph an exponential equation. So first of all, all the problems are going to give you what the parent graph should look like. So this is the parent graph right over here. And then you have to, I always look for the movement in the problem or how it's supposed to be moving. So this one here, remember this is the X and Y or the left and right movement. And remember we always change the sign. So that means I'm going to move negative four or to the left four. And then this is going to be meaning that I have to go up or down. So I keep the sign here. And that means I'm going to go down one. But the other thing that this tells us is this tells us the horizontal asymptote. So that means my horizontal asymptote is at y equals negative 1. So I am going to move that to negative 1 first. So let's see how this actually works in Otis. And I'm actually going to use these points that are over here on that graph to do my shifting. So in Otis, oops. All right, in Otis, what I'm going to do is I am going to start by moving that asymptote down. So I'm taking the red line and I'm shifting it down one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up these points the way they were over here in the parent graph. So I'm going to, I know that the point is at zero, one. I know the other point is at one, two. Now I'm going to count what I what I, the shifts with my points now. So this, remember, was to the left four. So I'm just going to take this point and count to the left four. One, two, three, four. And then remember this part said it had to go down one. So I'm going to go down one. And then I'm going to do that again with this point. So left one, two, three, four, and down one. And then I believe there was a check answer there. So we can check to see if we're correct. 